Yeah, with a 10? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, Salam. Basically, the Sultan gave him um, a decision. Listen, you're getting too much followers. It's becoming a problem. Okay? You either convert to Islam or you die. So he converted to Islam. And so basically, his followers got confused and they started sporadic. And guess who his followers were? These Jewish people, these uh, Khazars. A lot of these Khazars claim to be Jews. And so that's why, and basically through his, his line of followers, there is, they all broke up into three categories. The Domer, the Franks, the Frankens, mm -hmm. and the Illuminati, I guess is who you would have, the Illuminati. And basically, uh, you have the, the Domer, basically what they believed in, they believed in, um, they believed in, uh, what is it, uh, Oh yeah, they believe in sexual um, uh, immor uh, immor yeah sexual immortality to uh, basically bring them powers and to and to also uh, um, also they believed with the Franks, which came from Frank Jacob, also came out of that religion. Frank Jacob, these guys all basically believe together that if they they if they uh, went and took up. Basically, if they went and did a bunch of wicked stuff, kept doing wickedness and wickedness, that it would hasten Yahushua coming back. Because remember, these uh, these Jews think they these fake Jews think that they're the real Jews, so they think the Messiah needs to come for them. So what they did is they went into the Talmud and they changed the fact that you can't do sin. They well, they said, well, it's easy to do sin and it's hard to do good. So what we're gonna do? Let's just keep sinning so we use up all the bad energy, so that you know, how I can come back? Because if there's no more bad energy, he has to come back. All the energy is taken up, which is wrong, which is beyond off. Basically, you're gonna say to get how I to come. They want to make the world more wicked so he can come. So let's just start, you know, fucking little boys. Let's start eating uh, different fats, like all fats, eating each other's shit, doing all these orgies. That's why they do it. Cause they actually Esau actually believes they're the good guys. They believe that they're the elect. You know, they believe that they're the good guys and because Satan is talking to them, right? Mm -hmm. Telling them, you know, Satan yeah, is. these guys are the bad guys and the, mm -hmm. and, and uh, the Messiah is coming back for you guys and stuff. If you keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, you keep doing what you're doing. So they think by doing a bunch of wickedness, they're adding so much wicked on the world that Yahushua is going to have to come back. You know, which is showing you, because going back to the brother's point, he said that they actually like to do what they do. Well, they actually believe to do it because the Lord put that spirit on them through Satan, right? Yeah, to to send it. Satan to do that. Yeah, you know, just like how, you know, um, you know, it's actually like, you know, in our spirit to be righteous. Yeah. It's, it's in their spirit to do wickedness. That's which, why in Jeremiah, yeah. he calls you guys more wicked than the wicked. The more the, because you yeah. know that that's not your role. Kind. You know what I mean? So Esau actually, like, Esau actually feels good about himself when he does wicked things. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's his role. So for Jake to do wicked, you know... It's completely off. Yeah, you know, you're just going, you know, over the bridge, you know, like, mm -hmm. you know, that's not your role. Yeah, you know, which, right. which you know, later does on obviously make you more wicked than the wicked because you know better. Yeah, you know come I mean? yeah, That's right. That's why I always use this analogy. When, you, uh, when, you, when you're with your little brother and your little brother gets in trouble... Your mom gets mad at you because, because she said she to oversee him. Yeah. yeah. You know, because you know better. You're it's the older one. Over him, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. just the same way with Israel being wicked, man. Cool. We're, we're the we're the supposed to be, even though we're the younger brother, we're the bigger brother in the spirit. Because we have the knowledge. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, because it's on soldier's brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? It's for some for me. Stupid as devil. It's fuck. Yeah, with Jake, that, yeah, I wonder that conversation must have been sly. <laughs> Jacob must have been said some sly things and yeah. saw him that he was starving, and, you yeah, know. He was slick, man. Come on. Come on. You know, um... Uh, what verse were you at? I, I, I wrote to verse 6. Um, what, um, what does verse 7 say? Uh, it, it talks about the fire and the brimstone and stuff. Go to uh, that Psalms 149. Come Hold up on that. Come This is the book of... This is Psalms... This is Psalms chapter 149 verse 4. Mm -hmm. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Okay. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them, let them sing aloud upon their beds. 
Let the high praises of Yahweh Hashem Shai be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their noble ones with feathers of iron. That's right, man. To bind their kings and their noble ones with feathers of iron. Mm -hmm. You know, the, we're going to bind you guys up with chains, man. We, the thing that's beautiful is you guys are going to be saving yourself for slavery. So you guys are going to go hide up in your mountains or hide up wherever you want to hide up in. And we're going to be coming in there over on the left. We're going to come in there, you know, crash the party, so to speak. And we're going to start putting you guys in chains. We're going to come in there with chains and start putting you in chains. And you know what? It's time for slavery, you know? Because, hey, back in the Roman, the Roman uh, in the time of uh, Rome, when Yahweh was on the earth, you guys were ruling over us. Yeah. You know? And what? You had... The Julia, the Julia, the Julian uh, Claudians, right? The Claudian family, the Caesar family. We had um, Julius uh, Caesar, uh, which was I think was during the time of Yahushai, and then you had uh, uh, Augustus Caesar, who was during the time of Yahushai's birth, and they had uh, not Claudius but uh, Tiberius Caesar, which was the time of Yahushai's death. And then you have, and then you have uh, Claudius, and they have the this one girl. Uh, I forgot her name. She was also a Caesar. Claudius Caesar, and you had all these Caesars ruling over Israel, man. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, you had the Herods, you know, the tax masters that Rome set under them. Mm -hmm. Then you had uh, the Flavians, you know, Titus and uh, Vespasian, mm -hmm. and the Domitian being Titus's uh, sons. After Nero, Nero, Nero was the next uh, Caesar, I was thinking of. Nero, after he went and killed himself because the Senate voted him out of uh, power, showing you, hey, that whole section, the whole, um, it's the same thing. You know, Rome and the, the what is it, the plebeians and the partitions. Yeah. Yeah. Partitions were the public, the republic. And the plebeians were the Democrats. It's, you know, the thing about it is that it's the same thing just coming back to like... The different names. It's coming just, back to life. It's, yeah. it's different names and it, and it gets worse and worse. Mm -hmm. You know, right. every time they're, you know, actually like, you know, re 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 reincarnated, mm -hmm. you know, they come back worse. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, come, they come back worse. They, they come back worse. Which, right. is, which is another reason why this is the last kingdom. Yeah. Because this is, this is it, man. You know, This is the worst a kingdom has ever gotten. Yeah, you know, this is... This is as worse as it can get. Mm -hmm. So Yahweh Shimei Hashai got guys to come back and destroy this place so that you know the nation of Israel can rule forever and ever and ever, like That's it right. says, you know, in the book of Daniel's. That's right, man. Right? You know? Come. Uh it says to bind their kings with chains and the nobles ones with feathers of iron, because um in Ezekiel uh Ezekiel thirty nine and eleven, like you know, like it tells you that, you know, just like the apostles, you know, were like you know, actually, you know, they're, they're saying, well, not they're saying, but it says in the scriptures, you know, you know that their first, you know, job is going to be like, you know, be basically the building you know, the kingdom up. Um, no, they, they're going to bury, you know, oh, all, all the bodies. All the dead bodies. I mean? Yeah. yeah I, can't, can't uh, I remember them saying that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let me let me read that. Uh, Ezekiel thirty nine eleven, and it shall come to pass in that day that I will give unto Gog a place there of graves in Israel, the valley of the passengers of the east of the sea, and it shall stop the noses. Gog is Russia, but Russia are Edomites. And it shall and it shall stop the noses of the passengers, and there shall they bury Gog and all his multitude. And they shall call it the valley of of Haman God, and seven months shall the house of Israel be bearing be bearing of them, but they so that they may cleanse the land. That's right, because we're not gonna be it says the house of Israel should be burying them, yeah. We are gonna be throwing out the orders to Esau mm -hmm. to be burying them, but we're not gonna be doing work. The only mm -hmm. work well, we are gonna be doing work, but the order work we're gonna be doing is giving out orders. Come. And then we're going to be bosses and managers. Huh. You know? And it says, Yea, all the people of the land shall bury them, and it shall be to them a renown the day that I shall glorify, saith the Lord, Yahweh, power, mm -hmm. and they shall severe out of man 
of continual employment. <laughs> <laughs> Continu- Which means to work. Yeah, actually, so the word employment like, means slave. slave yeah. So continual uh, it's slavery. Yeah. Don't get that twisted. Doesn't mean Esau's gonna be employee. Yeah, like. And a, even if you say they're gonna be, in. yeah, yeah, just a clock in. Even if. Hey, yeah. Boss, I'm 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 can late. I get today off? No, I gotta go. I got some holidays. What's my holiday pay? It's a sick day. Let me get my sick day pay. Are you crazy, man? And you know what? Just to show how you Jakes are stupid. Said Esau's gonna be employee. Even if he is gonna be like, not, not, he's not gonna be an employee. But that word employee means slave any damn ways. So he's going to be a slave. Mm-hmm. But you guys are trying to push it like he's going to have, like we said, sick days, mm-hmm. you know, vacation pay, all that shit. We're not paying Esau shit. Mm-hmm. Esau's not even living in the house. He's living in the hole. <laughs> what the fuck? Pit, yeah. Uh, you're not in my, you know, low realm of the elect. You're not in my Edomite slaves are living in the house. <laughs> fuck that. They're living in, the, in a hole. Far away from my house, too. Come on, it's like...